Hello, Magnus here. And yesterday I had a live stream where I was talking about different microphone setups and what I preferred to use. Well, today in this video, I'm gonna talk about Rode mics in particular, the different versions of them and which one would fit you. We're gonna test it out and then you guys can decide on what you like. Here we go. All right, so on my channel, I talk about cameras and video equipment and anything having to do with mirrorless or DSLR cameras for video. If you like, please hit that notification button and subscribe. But let's jump into today's topic. So Rode microphones are pretty much the go-to microphones for a lot of people who like to film YouTube videos and just basically vlog or walk around and and get that good quality video that you won't get if you just point a DSLR at you at yourself. Or even some video cameras themselves don't really have that great video. So attaching an external microphone is always the best solution when it comes to filming. But Rode seems to be one of the most popular microphones out there, but there are different versions of it. And today we're gonna compare the sound quality difference on all the Rode microphones. And we're gonna start with the Rode Video Mic Pro. Now, the Rode Video Mic Pro is what you're listening to right now. So, I've got it hooked up right above me as you can hear the quality of the sound and basically what's going on. So, this this microphone is great when it comes to just this type of setup and it's actually my favorite setup, but I'm going to switch it up. So, Rode Video Mic Pro is actually the more expensive option of the 3. But of course, with it being more expensive, you've got um, the ability to record better audio. And you've got the ability to raise the decibel level plus 20, zero, or minus 20, um, which is a great option in case you're in a situation where too much audio is, is around that you need to reduce that decibel level without using the setups in your camera or increasing the decibel level. That way you can take that boost out of your DSLR and make it completely dependent on the microphone, which actually helps a lot for the quality that you'll get. So this is what I sound like off the Rode Video Mic Pro. Now I'm gonna switch it up. We've got the Rode Video Mic, and then we've got the Rode Video Mic Go. So we're gonna start off with the Rode Video Mic. Now this is actually powered by a battery and you could reduce the decibel level based off of this battery and kind of go with that. Now, the, the advantages of this is, of course, it's cheaper than the Rode Video Mic Pro, and it's still a reliable uh, shotgun microphone, and you're going to hear the quality difference in a second. But I've got to change a few settings in my actual DSLR camera, so let me hook it up, and I'll be right back. Okay, now I've got the Rode Video Mic hooked up. Now, it's hooked up just the way I had my Rode Video Mic go, and this is how I sound like now. You'll notice there's a slight change in the quality, um, but it's still not bad. It's still pretty good, and it's still very usable. So this one comes in a little bit cheaper than the Rode Video Mic Pro, but what you get out of it is still acceptable quality. And I'm sure that you'd rather use this versus just regular audio, which would sound like this. But regular audio off your camera is not something that's fun to use or something that you'd like. So that's the Rode Video Mic. And now we're gonna go to the Rode Video Mic Go. Now the advantage that this has over the Rode Video Mic Pro and the Rode Video Mic is that A, it's a bit less expensive, and B, it doesn't require external battery power. It's actually, depends on the power of the camera. Now, the disadvantage is, is you can't adjust the decibel level on it. And, well, you're gonna see one of the other major disadvantages of this. Now, the quality that I, I can tell you from my personal subjective opinion, that when it's working, the quality is actually comparable to the Rode video mic. But, uh, we're gonna see what this sounds like in a second. I'm gonna hook this up, and what I've got now is a Rode video mic. Here we go. And now what we've got is the Rode Video Mic Go. Now, the quality of this is not that bad at all. 
um, especially for the price. I got it for about $99. But the one flaw that I'm sure that you're picking up right now is the fact that, well, you can hear it. And that sound is caused by Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi, when Wi-Fi is in the surrounding area, because it interferes with the transmission of power from this to the camera, it causes that little, well, that sound effect that you hear. So those are the three mics. Now I'm going to go right back to Video Mic Pro. And now we're back with the Rode Video Mic Pro. Now this setup is my favorite setup out of all the um, audio setups that you've heard in this video, but it's subjective and it's up to you whether you think it's worth the price or not. I've used different microphones in all of my videos, and so far I'm liking this setup the most. Um, let me know what you guys think or what uh, other alternative microphones you like to use in your videos. Let me know in the comments down below. As always, like, share, watch the stream that I did a day ago. It was just a test run. I still want to do some tweaks before I start getting into the regular live streaming. But let me know if you guys want to see that or more of that. And hit that notification button if you already subscribed to me. But if not, you can make my day if you subscribe today. This is Magnus, and I'm out. See you guys later. Oh yeah, this is, this is my new t-shirt. That's uh, how it looks in the back. I'm out. <laughs> Take care, guys. Goodbye.